Hey guys, welcome back to another reading. Thank you all so much for your support. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. See what's going on for feminine masculine, divine feminine, divine masculine. Somebody got a very low vibrational ex. I feel um, like before I even start recording, like this person had, um, they were just doing too much. Somebody, you might have found out that somebody was just sexually attracted to you and really nothing more. Or you were only sexually attracted to this person and nothing more. The vibes I'm getting with this energy, your your ancestors is not fucking with someone here, okay? They're just not. Maybe you want to continue something on with this person, but the ancestor said, no, I seen 111. Whoever you is, you definitely divine as a fuck. <laughs> Bro, you divine as a mug. And you're fine as hell, too. But that ain't the only thing good about you. And you so goddamn fine, that's probably why this is coming up. Like I said, somebody might have been sexually attracted to you here. A lot of you all need to be using your discernment in a situation coming up soon. Because I feel like this person is going to return. Whether you want them to come back or not, they ass is on the fucking way. Because they ain't got nobody to fuck else to be codependent on. Okay. How does this look? I'm getting better for my skin, okay? Y'all work with me. Try not to have I don't like when shit be out of order. I just don't, bruh. I just really don't. I have an eye for I want to say um, congruence. Shit got to be congruent. It got to add up. It got to match. God damn it. Okay. So please don't judge me. Okay, Chris Brown. Don't judge me. So would you have an authority here, coherence? Merkle bind the reverse or ancestors. Crown chakra consciousness. Of course, they both are lining up together. But your discernment is in the reverse. And that's something that I don't like. Okay. I'm hearing it's getting hot in here by Nelly. Somebody could be having some financial difficulties right now, but trust me, that will end. Don't worry. Whomever you are, you never worry about finances. That's how you attract finances. You're on your path, nonetheless. So don't worry. If you feel like you're doing something wrong, you're not. A lot of you all are... um in a state of mind to where you're kind of not believing in yourself or, you know, you're feeling like you're doing some wrong shit. No, you're not. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Things are happening the exact way it was written to be. What the hell I heard? My daddy said it. Yeah, he did. You're anxious about this new love you just met. Is it going to work? Somebody eating some short fried rice or you did today. Tasting it. Um whatever it is, you have adjacent possibilities. You have so much free range, is what I'm hearing, to do whatever it is you want to do. To accomplish this goal that may seem unattainable. Okay. It's a masculine energy here that's definitely interested in someone. But you got this ex, this low vibrational motherfucker right here. They feel like they can control and manipulate you and who you date. And, you know, seems to me every time... The contract with y'all has been broken. I do want to point that out, okay? Spirit had to bring it up again. This contract is null and void. 
But a lot of y'all can definitely resonate with a person saying, man, that nigga ain't for you. That bitch ain't for you. That motherfucker ain't got no money. That motherfucker broke in here. That's who you with. <laughs> You ain't gonna find nobody like me. <laughs> but it's some secrets coming out. Could be regarding this person. Some that they thought might have not been important or significant right now, but it is. Or something that you might have thought that wouldn't have been important. It's a whole different person here. And this person is in a position of authority. They have some kind of authority some kind of way. I don't know how, but they do. You're definitely a part of the community or you're supposed to be. Doing your thing. You're minding your business. Working, getting your bread. And here comes this new love, right? But here comes your ex as well. This person is very deceiving. Our ex Raphael is here. Your angel of strength. Okay? He's here to extract this fuck nigga because I'm telling you, this person here is trying to block another person from coming into your life. Which is very petty to me because I feel like they, this person just need to mind their business. It's just so easier. It's so much easier to mind your business, but you know, hey man. I'm a mind your business connoisseur. Anybody who know how to mind their business, I fuck with you real hard. This person is only a financial constraint. They never think about you. They never truly do. They're blossoming abundance is in the reverse. And there's our angel Michael. Already extracted this fuck nigga or this bitch because of envy. They're already out the energy, but they feel like they're pertinent somehow. I don't know why, but they do. They feel like they matter in a situation. I feel like all you are is a sacrifice to this person. They see you sit back, happy, laughing it up with the soul tribe. Getting money, buying cars, clothes, houses, and just enjoy doing good shit, helping people. They see you doing this shit and they're pissed off. Because when they, when they, if they ever, because I feel like this person had a chance to do the same shit, right? And they fucked it up. But if they ever would have the chance, let's say, to do the shit you're doing or to have the heart you have, they would never possess this here because they just don't have it. They don't got love. This ex of yours is definitely in the mix, trying to mingle with you on some low vibrational shit, only to still leave you out in the cold because they don't want you to be with nobody else. But they don't, you know, they don't want you to be with anybody else, but they don't want to be with you either. Rejoice in celebration. They're not trying to, this person is not trying to be happy with you. And they don't want to see you happy. This is a hater. It's a hating ass nigga right here on a female. Balance. This energy I keep fucking picking up on. This hating ass nigga. That's why our angel Raphael and Michael is here to extract this fuck boy. This person is about to face a whole lot of goddamn problems. Conflict and defeat when it's, when it's time to step up to your spiritual team is what I heard. When it's time to step up to your spiritual team... This person is about to face a lot of obstacles, challenges, conflict, defeat. Because they were never in the right place when they tried to merge into your lane. These people, they feel like they be having some kind of control over you. Maybe because you called them daddy while having sex. <laughs> maybe they called you daddy. Or maybe you called them daddy or something. Nigga. You ain't daddy to nobody. How the fuck you gonna call a nigga that don't even take care of their kids daddy? Y'all better be coherent to what you're saying in the bedroom while you're having sex with motherfuckers. That's magic, okay? That's a form of witchcraft. And these people use that shit to build their lives off of you and your energy, right? This obsessed, obsessive, possessive, conniving ass motherfucking ex of yours is in your energy and ain't going no motherfucking where because guess what? You call him daddy. You made him feel like nobody hit the spot like him. So he feels like nobody can ever be him. 
or she take the messages how the fuck they resonate. I always want you to take these messages how the fuck they resonate, but don't ever take what the fuck I'm telling you lightly. Okay, here, period. And ain't that sound light at the bottom of the deck. Don't ever the fuck take this shit lightly. Now they don't know what to do. They're at a standstill. They're patient. They're planning on how to come back to you or to get into your Basically, long story short, okay? A long reading short. This motherfucker is only coming in to try to bond with you or get in your good graces because they see you moving in a positive manner and they want to disrupt it. They want to literally disrupt that. But they can't. That's their plan. You're still chilling. They're not moving on from you. They're conflicted. Like, what, what, what the fuck? Isn't It's not me. I'm not your twin. Hold up now. Why are they still prosperous? Why do they emotionally withdraw? Oh, this was a real light worker. This was a real earth angel. I don't have no authority. I don't have no authority. The universe ain't fucking with me. Now they crying. Emotional loss. They crying now. Because they're aware that you don't need them. You never did. There's no growth here spiritually. I want to take it back to the spiritual portion of everything. You have to always include God. The Holy Spirit is not fucking with this person. They fuck with this person when, when this person is one-on-one -on -one with the Spirit. But they don't fuck with this person when it comes to you. This person needs to do their own healing. They got to do something here for themselves for a change. But I doubt they will ever do this. This person gonna always be narcissistic and need some kind of energy supply to make them feel like her superior. You are just that one that got away. You are the one that always puts your intuition before anything. You trust your intuition more than you trust yourself because your intuition is your higher self. Something you can't see, but you just know it's there. It's a more mature person coming, right? And they want to fuck this up. Meaning they want to come in, try to fuck you, get you pregnant, or to get you to, you know, start back posting pictures with you and them. And then next thing you know, you're in fucking despair because they done left you hanging. Because they're still dealing with a karmic ass bitch. This person, trust me, is not any anything with you, but they're not any anything with them either. This person is probably married. The shows these people put on, you would think they'll go audition. I heard Juilliard. Go audition for some shit. The way you dancing around and energy and thinking you can control and manipulate shit. Go try out for something. You have a, a better chance at succeeding at that. You want to play fake as fuck in a character? You want to be somebody that you're not? Bitch, go audition for a role. You'll still not get it. As fake as these bitches is... They never get a fake role. They never... These hoes so goddamn fake. They ain't even fake enough to get a role of playing a fake motherfucker. Because they're not shit. Nobody would ever want to work with this person. This shit truly be about relationships, too. They keep misjudging you, misjudging your path, misjudging your strength, misjudging the fact that you walked away from them. They think because y'all been broke up for a couple months or something like that, that they can just still creep the fuck back in. You already are expecting this person. You're expecting them to do the same shit that they've always, um, always done is what I heard. They always have done the same shit. They never changed anything about their route. They do the same thing. And then expect a different result. How? They're a thief of energy, of time, love. They're a thief just all around the board. They stealing. And they damn sure know that you have a new person in your life. And, um, you know, they want to block this shit off. This person been in the community talking shit about you, in fact. They're very childish. This person, this person got it. They're very childish, bro. That's all I can say. 
it's a wealthy man here that wants to spoil you, take care of you without judgment, without ceasing, without, you know, because they're sent from the most high God. A person that's going to be concerned about you, that actually cares about you and your kids, that actually cares about how the fuck your day went, that ain't trying to come move in your motherfucking house and live off of you. Okay? This person ain't on that kind of vibration. They're a great fucking fortune. They can provide all this to you here. And hell, this person might come out acting like they broke your fall. This person, you might even you might not even know this person got no bread for real. They just want to make sure that the same kind of people you're dealing with and they're dealing with, you're not. Okay? They want to make sure you're not this kind of gold digging energy or something here. Motherfuckers is not official. Okay? And they're gonna be rule it's gonna be a ruling to deem them unofficial as fuck. Shit is going to be written on paper. It was all about money. You know, all about looking good in the community. Your ex is in bad health. This person is struggling to figure out who they are spiritually. And then, too, they're unhealthy on top of that. In their finances as well. That's courtesy of spirit, though. They should have left you the fuck alone. But instead, they chose to keep bothering you being in your fucking business when you were never concerned with them. You were changing your life for the better and they got jealous of that. You got a married motherfucker that's in your energy trying to steal your energy, trying to steal your path and shit from you. And this person don't even know where the fuck and what the fuck they, they would even do with any of these gifts or blessings. This shit brazy, bro. Lover's card in reverse. This person ain't never loved you or nobody else. And now that you finally have somebody that will love you for who you are and what you have, what you represent, what you do. Now they want to come in and, you know, act like they love you, but they're truly not concerned. They're just still what I said, trying to put on the front. You got a name for yourself. Now they want to come and attach themselves to you so people can feel like they fuck with you. You don't fuck with these motherfuckers. You just truly don't. And like I said, whoever this is, they're married. They already got a life, a wife, a husband. They got shit going on all the fuck ready. I don't know why the hell they keep trying to include you in some shit, but they do. Yeah, you're ignoring their messages. They're coming up a main male in the reverse. A immature bitch in the reverse masculine femme your ex trying to uh, plot and block a new love from coming in something that was already set in stone something God had already written a lot of y'all don't even deal with this person but they still dealing with the fuck you because guess what their supply <laughs> ain't ever gonna have enough energy combined to match yours that's why they're so fixated on doing Whatever the fuck they can to be a part of your energy field. They don't care to even be a part of your life. They just need your energy. These people don't care to be in your life for real. They just need your energy. Because you hold what? Strength. You're stronger than all these motherfuckers. You got a masculine energy or a feminine energy coming into your life that matches you. And these people are in the eight of swords wondering like, well, what the fuck? They're still getting this even though I plotted all this. You know, they're still getting this. Two of Pentacles. The Cherry. It could be a Cancer for sure or a Leo. Y'all leave me alone with these damn cards. Leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone, y'all. <laughs> no matter what, it's... um just always going to be the need for this person to try to come in and act like they love you. They going to always feel and they always do this like right before you have a manifestation. They come in acting like they're the one for you and they're just not and then they leave you in some kind of heartbreak. These people truly ain't about what the fuck they talking about, bro. They're not.
they want to come out of the cold. Look, this is, something is sticking out about this marriage. This person is married. But they're trying to come in and tell you what to do. Like I said, you called them daddy. And now all of a sudden, this person thinks they're superior. They think they call the shots in your life. Who you date, who you fuck with. There's an ace of wands, a passionate brand new beginning here for you, not for them. It don't belong to them. This offer is yours, not theirs. It don't belong to fuck to them. Somebody just needs to learn how to mind their business, is what I feel. You got an ace of pentacles that belongs to you and not to them. And they're in a nine of swords because of this. Why are you so goddamn stressed out is what I want to know. You real stressed out because you're in a tower you can't fucking recover from. All because when, when this person was with you, they treated you like you were nothing. And then you moved on. And they're not an option to you anymore. Now they feel the need to take some shit into their own hands is what I heard. Take matters into their own hands. Something is hidden here. It's hidden. It's hidden the motives, the true intentions behind this motherfucker. What it is they really want from you. What do they really want from you? Rest in peace, DMX. What they really want from you. Because if it ain't one thing, it's another with this motherfucker. It ain't, they never gonna be satisfied. They only coming in to block something. Just trust that. It's only to block off a person from coming into your life. They know all about this damn person. This damn king of pentacles, this emperor. This man holding a coin, man holding a heart. Man holding some heavy ass nuts right here. Masculine. I told you that thing. Oh, masculine. Masculine, that thing long. That thing strong, masculine. Hell yeah, masculine. Sexy ass. This person here ain't never gonna walk away from you and leave you looking crazy. But see, this person will. 22, 22, I see. This ex of yours will. Why do they keep trying to be relevant? Every time you moving on in your life, this person pop up. Or when it's time for you to unite with someone, or if they hear you dating somebody, they pop the fuck up some kind of way. Wanting to come in and offer you something or bring you some kind of news or, or, or find a way to spark a conversation is what the fuck I'm hearing. They want to converse with you just to try to get in your good graces here. To move towards you to ultimately, you know, bring you right back to this two of damn swords. And in, you know, a lack of judgment here. That's clean, you sexy as fuck. Two of swords. This is crazy. And it's uncalled for. Whatever this is, you stay in the game. That's what it's about. That's just what I'm saying. I'm going to just tell you, that's why all this conflict and shit be brought to you by these exes and shit. They don't truly be coming into your life because they miss you. These motherfuckers try to come into your life because they want to control you, bro. They want to control some shit. Yeah, you left their ass out in the cold, though. There ain't nothing that they can say. You already won. There's no need to argue with this energy. Whoever this energy is, you don't need to argue with them at all. It ain't nothing to say. What the fuck is that to say? You're already contracted to be with somebody else. Whatever this person did, this shit is so bad that spirit has literally shredded this contract. It's over. But in their mind, they feel like they can make it have a different outcome. No, it won't work. Somebody's just trying to force some shit to work that's not supposed to work. They're trying to force something to work here that's not supposed to be working. Because it's not for your highest good. It's only for theirs. And it's not even a highest good for them. It's for beneficial purposes. This person only wants to benefit from something. But they need your fucking energy to do it all the time. Queen of Swords, you definitely is going to go the fuck off on this person. You're going to have some really harsh words for this energy. 
because I feel like they need to be put in their place, but they need to know that, hey, bro, no, hey, uh-uh, hey, no. This motherfucker need to be made aware that they not just gonna come into your motherfucking life and bring you no bullshit ass motherfucking offer. And I guess you just supposed to do a handstand on the dick or something. Cause they coming back with even more lies from the past. They created even more lies is what I heard. And like I said, they're still married. This shit will never work. This person is still trying to hold on. This person is trying to hold on to you and to this karmic. Nah, bro. The fuck I look like sifting and mixing energies with a bitch that ain't shit. With a nigga that ain't shit that's always fake fucking flexing. Acting like they got more fuck than what they got. That'll flex on me for their homeboys. That'll talk shit about me to their partners. And to any bitch that they meet that may know of me. Hey, you bitches don't know me. Motherfuckers can't pick up the phone and call you. That's just what I'm trying to say. They can't pick up the phone and fucking call you right here. Masculine. Oh. <laughs> Masculine fine. Oh. Whoever my masculine is, is sexy. This motherfucker's sexy as shit. I'm curious about you, masculine. Straight up. I'm ready to meet you. Okay. Somebody's neglecting their children. Worrying about you. This, this motherfucker is so neglectful and negligent, which is the same shit. Okay. You fake flexing, like I said. This this one of them niggas that post a lot of money but ain't did shit. They don't pay child support and shit like that. Trying to block you off from a real boss nigga. They trying to block you off from a boss because it ain't them. They're just trying to use this stronghold that they have over you so they feel against you. Sorry, y'all. In case you was wondering, that was a net. And you bitches trying to listen in on my shit. And I just smashed the fuck out that bitch and killed the fuck out that bitch. Period, sis. Like I said, inside school. Trying to be fucking nosy, you dumb assholes. Stop trying to send monitoring spirits to me. Stop doing that weird shit. That shit weird. Who the fuck conjures up a bug to go and listen to some... Y'all hoes are losers. Masculine. This person also feels like you're their good luck charm. They'd rather be with an impersonator, though. Somebody that portrays to be you. Like I said, fake flexing impersonator. They rather be with that energy that portrays to be you because they can walk all over this motherfucker. This bitch here got a very low IQ and this nigga too. Them the real alphabet boys. These motherfuckers got some low ass IQs. If nobody else do, they do, baby. I'm telling you. Somebody could marry this person for money as well. And now they're stuck with their ass. And now they want to be with you because now they're bankrupt or something. I don't feel like they got nothing to do with you. Stopping, following you, watching you from fake accounts and shit. Trying to force their way into your fucking energy field, a.k.a. these nets and flies. Bitches trying to listen in on shit that they don't need to fucking hear. Bitch, why don't you wait till I upload the reading? What the fuck is you in here trying to listen to shit for, bitch? That's crazy. Because you're obsessed. Like I said, this is an obsessed fuck nigga. A warlock ass fuck nigga that's trying to block you off from a real nigga. Somebody who would never take these kind of habits to hurt you. Somebody who's released all their bad habits to be with you. Somebody who literally has worked on themselves because they feel they deserve you. And that's a real man. That's a real woman. When they don't do shit just because they got a motive behind it and it's not 
a bad thing. It's something to better themselves or someone else. This motherfucker extra trigger right here, fam. I'm just telling you the fact the rules. They trigger like a motherfucker. Because this copycat bitch will never amount to you. And then also, too, that they can't come and put you in some kind of third party with this masculine. Or with this fucking feminine. This karmic masculine or feminine. Okay, here. They're played the fuck out. You don't want to involve yourself with this shit. It's so old. Who the fuck wants to be called from private numbers at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning? And all this nigga do is talk shit about you to this hoe. Man, I don't fuck with the Empress. I don't fuck with the Empress. Man, that motherfucker ain't... No, but bitch, you're the one that's not about shit. You're not shit, is what Sphere said. They know this too. They're comfortable with it. They've been in this position since they were born. They know they're not shit. They wear that shit very proudly. They're, un like I was, what did I just say? They're unbothered. They're immune to losing. They're immune to this kind of behavior. But see, now they're fed up. They fake fed the fuck up. Now, all of a sudden, they're fed up. But after all this low vibration shit they had been doing in the background, they mad at the person you with. This motherfucker also about to go to jail. Whoever this uh, Carmen Masculine is, is going to, I cannot make it up. Legal issues, bankroll legal issues, call the case. I'm a very creative motherfucker. And baby, ain't nobody matching my creativity. But I could never make up no shit like that. Ever. <laughs> Spirit said, you get your creativity from us. Yeah, and I do. I do. That is the truth. But I will never be more creative than Spirit. Those are just big fucking fat rules here. Big facts. Spirit finna lay this motherfucker out. They stalking and watching them. They like, oh, well, did they post? Did they post? They looking forward to seeing you post something because they can use that as, okay, a celebration. Well, I stopped something for them. I blocked this person from coming in. I feel like whoever you are, you post what the fuck you want people to know. So this person ain't want shit. This motherfucker is really delusional. This boss, daddy, stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big, big energy, masculine is in the fucking building. Let a real boss nigga through. It's a real boss. Karmic ass fuck nigga is still on the corner in the streets trying to get approval from the dough man in the trap right here. And that's why they whack ass is going through fucking karma. They're going through karma. They're going to get back karma. They ain't playing the game. This person ain't got enough. And you hit the jackpot right here, fam, with this person. And they damn sure hit the jackpot with you. Because fam sexy is a motherfucker, too. Just because I let you slide, that don't mean you off the hook. Read your hoes like a book. I'm always rhyming out the suits. I like them hood, but like the suits. I'm not picky, but I choose. I'm confident because I always make the best move. I seen 3333. This masculine about to come make you an offer, fam, if you have not met this person already. But trust me, your ex is haunted by the thought of this. I seen 3344. Uh, They're haunted day and night here about the good things that are coming to you that they try so hard to block. I seen 3355. Yeah, they're played the fuck out. Shit like this get ejected. I'm seeing that scene from Set It Off when Queen Latifah was listening to the music, throwing CDs out the window. Yeah, this is one of them up, but this shit will be right on the ground at the scene of a heist here. They did it. You don't hear that whack ass music? They obviously need this shit more than I do. They did this shit. They did this. <laughs> they committed this crime. Shit played out. They're still trying to dig dirt. Still trying to find out if you're with this person or not. So they can do what? Come in and steal it from you. It ain't gonna work. They're getting karma. They're getting back karma. They're gonna come to you fake smiling with a dirty offer only to suck you back in. This is all vampire fuck nigga or a hoe. You're too busy winning, moving on, moving in silence, period. 
You're too busy winning, moving on, moving in silence. You're not telling anybody your moves. And y'all don't believe I just killed the neck. I don't know if y'all can see that shit on that wall. Hold on. You see it? I just literally killed a neck. They came in here trying to fuck with a real motherfucking boss bitch. Anything come to me, hovering me, trying to monitor me, you get slayed immediately. That's just how this shit fucking goes. I'm not playing with none of these motherfuckers. Trying to ghost, trying to come in like a ghost, a, a thief in the night and shit and find out some information. Man, y'all hoes is losing, bitch. Why don't you just ask me what I'm doing, bitch? You ain't got to stalk and creep. Why don't you just ask? If it's that damn important. But anyway, fam, masculine, I hope this resonated with you guys. Okay, I hope you guys got something from this message. But there's a real big dick boss daddy <laughs> that's interested in you, fam, here. And I can't wait to meet mine. So just keep the positive vibes up. Raise a glass. Toast to yourself and your wins at any given time. You know, because you guys deserve good things. These people are going through karma. They're going through karma. Bad karma. They're getting their karma for stealing your energy and trying to steal your relationships and shit. Okay, you're trying to bring conflict here. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I was gonna say alfalfa. I got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. This person probably ain't even got a dollar today, now. Nah. And I'm not making fun of nobody because I know the feeling. But when you out here doing all these low vibrational shit, you really shouldn't be trying to be in nobody energy but your own to see what the hell going on, okay? Here. But like I said, they look at you as their good little charm. But this masculine here is also looking at you as their good little charm. They're all this this boss daddy, big deep energy, is still looking at you. Like, nah, that's my girl. That's my husband. That's my that's my motherfucking wife. That's my man. That's my woman kind of energy. And people are hunted. They don't like to see this happen. Trying to dig dirt on you. And then some old ass shit at that. You know, and bring this shit to you or try to recollect on an old ass memory to get back in your space. Ignore this person. They have a motive, an agenda to take something from you. Okay, your friend masculine. I love you guys very much. And I will see you later. Until next time.